Dímelo mi gente, what's up? It's your boy Gus from Gus Villa Jewelry back with another review on one of the companies that you guys suggested. Today we are doing the Goo Shop. You guys already know the deal. These aren't sponsored. I could care less to get sponsored by any of these companies. This is a raw, authentic opinion on what I think about any of these shops and is it worth it for you to spend your hard earned coin on any of these companies. Today, the Goo Shop is gonna walk the plank and let's see if it's worth it, Lego. considered I didn't have to wait that long it was one of the people actually dropped it in the comments below said hey please do a review of the go shop so here I am it came in this nice little plastic bag as you guys see here of course I blocked my address so that you stalkers don't come up on me weirdos anyway the point is we're gonna open this pack up together and see what's in here I actually don't remember what I ordered so hopefully it's something good probably something Miami Cuban link chain related so this is what it looks like on the outside no one really cares here is the packaging itself not bad it has one of these bubble wraps with the goo shop which i think is actually pretty funny i don't know what the goo is but pause it's kind of weird uh let's see what it looks like opened up uh again don't know really what i ordered but i'm sure it's something cuban link because that's kind of my thing all right so nicely packaged here we go oh the goo shop since 2010 let me tell you man this box is really nice but again here i see a pattern on all these pieces all these companies they all have really nice packaging but their product is kind of garbage so hopefully there's something a little bit different to this i don't really know what's in here what kind of quality it is but let's take a look so here's the box i guess it looks really nice again this is a really nice box uh, hopefully the product looks good as well oh a little bubble wrap okay cool so here it is the goo shop here is the bracelet itself oh my god all right all right let's take a look at what's inside it comes with the goodies authenticity and a lifetime guarantee what what are they authenticating really like <laughs> This is as contradictory as it gets. This is a, a imitation bracelet, and yet it has an authenticity and lifetime guarantee. This car certifies that our jewelers are certified by the federal, again with the federal trade commission. What the, what is the federal trade commission, Papo? Come on now, that's a thousand percent a gimmick. A thousand percent. And the Jewelers Vigilance Commission. I feel like there's a bunch of dark winged duck people like in the back. We're in the Vigilance Commission. <laughs> That's This is ridiculous. This is so stupid. Okay, I do not agree with this. This is ridiculous. Get this the f out of here, dog. <laughs> That's so stupid. And then it comes with this little wipe. Mm -hmm. This is more like a glasses wipe that they just put in here just because for fluff. This is all fluff. Let's just see. All right, so obviously I'm not gonna clean this. Well, it has a bunch of prongs and all this crap uh, with this, which is ridiculous. So I don't know why they would put that, but hey, you know what? I'll take the goodies. How to preserve, keeping it dry. If your jewelry is not frequently at, <laughs> that's a, a Money Mayweather type of reading right there. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> If your jewelry is not used frequently, keep it stored in cool and dry place. If your climate is humid, place in a small packet of desiccant crystals inside your bag. Yeah, hold on. Let me buy a bag of desiccants to keep it inside my crate. Like, come on, bro. Get out of here. That's ridiculous. All right, cool. So this is the bag that you're supposed to store it in, I guess. This is actually really nice. It just looks a little, obviously this isn't leather, right? They're not you know, going out there and skinning cows to get genuine leather here. But it's cool because this closes by itself. It's a lot of like presentation, but like I said, ultimately, it really depends on what this piece is gonna look like, which I'm gonna take a look right now. It says, love your order. Thanks for your hope. It's hope you enjoy all of our products are crafted with great attention to detail. We strive to provide you the best products. Yeah, come on, bro. This is, all right. This is, this is all fluff. This is all fluff, fluff, right? It, it all could look cool. Yeah, what does it look like? What does it smell like? Mm, no, okay. This is all just fluff. It all boils down to this. There's no attention to detail. And let me tell you why this is no attention to detail. This is a thousand percent Chinese made. This is Chinese made for sure, a thousand percent. Now, there's some Chinese shops that are good. There's some Chinese shops that are crap. Most of the time, it's gonna be pretty garbage, but let's take a look at it. Let's see what it's about, right? So I could tell it's Chinese because they all wrap their stuff exactly the same. 
they put like this plexi crap over it it's not it's really difficult to get off but let's just try to see if we can maybe fast forward this and get this thing out of here but it's meant to like not scratch it and all this other stuff but they all pretty much wrap it the same way <laughs> oh get out of here all right so here we have a prong set cuban what's a prong set cuban gus originally it was cubans that were handmade under it right so you would hand make a cuban link under it and then you would set these little plaques right on top of every single one of those links you solder it on you won't really solder it on you laser it on and then you have the holes already preset into these plaques that get on top of it and all you do is just pop the diamond in here this is exactly what this is. The plating looks off. It only because the yellowy has an undertone of green. And that is typically when there's some sort of nickel or copper base under the plating itself. Now, what the hell does that mean? When you electroplate and you don't necessarily want to do it the old fashioned way, which is either gold over silver, gold over brass, gold over stainless steel, which is where you just grab the base metal itself and you apply the gold in layers and layers through electroplating. That's a process that takes hours to do. You cut corners. And how do you cut corners? You put a really quick flash plate of a porous metal like nickel or copper right under it. So you flash plate it with nickel and then you really quickly dip it in gold. And what does that do? It allows you to get the same exact effect as if you were to electroplate it like gold over brass or gold over silver with a lot less gold. In other words, you do it the cheap way it looks the same, but it doesn't last the same. And that's the issue. And that's where you get like this yellowish with a very like greenish undertone. That undertone is based out of nickel or based out of copper that they coated this before. So the gold plating looks really off. Also, the piece itself doesn't look horrendous. It's just machine made. The way they make these aren't handset stones. And how do I know? because this looks exactly like every other Chinese garbage that I see that looks just like this. The lock is exactly the same. It has a pretty easy locking mechanism. It's usually sturdy, ironically enough. You pop this over like so, and you close it, and there it is. This is 99% chance China made and not handset stones. The way they do these, as opposed to the way we would regularly put stones on a piece is they grab the mold of these links and a machine injects the wax. So now you have what the wax is gonna look like in each one of these links. And then a machine comes and pops little fake diamonds into each one of those wax molds. And then they cast it already with the stones on there. And what does that do? Saves time, saves material, and saves money. Every single thing about this piece is to make it look like it saved money. I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see what it looks like on me. But if you're wearing something like this, it's a thousand percent detectable, not even by someone who doesn't know about pieces. You just know this doesn't look real. The color is off, the stones look like CZs, and it's very hard to tell, but you could just tell because they're a little cloudy. There's nothing really about this piece that screams quality, and there's a reason why it was probably under 200 bucks, to be honest. Everything about it, the links are very spaced out. This is just typical Chinese crap. I've seen this same bracelet with 90 other logos before, and there's nothing really that differentiates this between someone else. Now, here is where I would tell you some positives about this. If you are an up and coming rapper, if you are a kid who doesn't necessarily have the money to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a real piece like this, or even a silver one with say for instance, moissanite that are hand set, and you wanna save yourself some coin and maybe you only wear it out every once in a while or to a specific event, this does the job. Cause from afar, you got this on, you're kind of flossing, the light hits it a certain way. It doesn't necessarily look awful on camera. It only looks really bad when you get close to it. And this is a poor example of what a bust down bracelet is supposed to be. First test we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these, <laughs> these. These nuts. <laughs> First test we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this piece and we're gonna see how well these stones are set. I'm almost positive, like I said, these are machine made. So as you guys may or may not know, this is a loop. It does 10 times magnification. This is how we can tell how the setting is done. All right, so for sure these settings, these prongs haven't been set. When you set a diamond, prongs are standing 
upwards, you could set them manually by pushing them together. And what this does is it seals the gap of the actual diamond and holds it in place. The diamonds are just set straight. The actual prongs haven't been closed yet, which can just confirm the fact that this is a handset. Now the final test is gonna be with the PMI gun. This can tell you exactly what the piece is made out of. I'm thinking that it's probably somewhere in the stainless steel or brass. What we do is we hold it up, make sure that that x-ray doesn't hit your hand, squeeze this trigger button, and it's gonna tell us exactly what it's made out of. And ironically, this has a little silver in it. So this has 23% silver, the rest of it is copper, 1% zinc, and the gold plating is less than 2%, which is what I thought it was. So the base cover or the base metal on this is for sure copper. And then they do some sort of gold bath in it. It's the cheap way of plating, but for a company that has a price point of about 150 to under $200 for something like this, they have to cut all the corners that they can. And what you do is you buy it from China, you have it machine set, you flash plate it, and then you sell it for about 150 bucks. But the reality is this costs about 10 to $15 to produce. So what are my overall thoughts about this? It's 100% costume jewelry. I know I ask you guys to tell me to review any of the companies that you want. What you guys have been sending me a lot of the times is just third party resellers. There are a lot of people out there calling themselves jewelers, including myself. And to be honest with you, I am not a jeweler. I say that I'm a jeweler so that I could dumbify it and make it as simple as possible so you can understand that I sell jewelry. Jewelers are actual people who know different types of metals. There are people that sit on that bench that have years and years of experience that can make you jewelry handmade without having any sort of computer program, that know different types of metal melting points, that know how to set stones, that know how to finish pieces, that know the craft. These are actual jewelers. We are just jewelry salespeople. And these companies that you are being marketed to on Instagram, they are jewelry resellers. They are not jewelry companies. They either buy from Italy and they resell it, but they have to buy in bulk or they buy it from China and they resell it. They're not actual jewelers. There are the difference between the people who actually own a jewelry store, which you can go back there and say, hey, I want this done or I want this piece or I want this Rolex and they know about it or they say, hey, I have to go buy it from someone else. This kind of crap is stuff that you buy from overseas, very, very low price points and they sell it at 10, 15 times what it's actually worth. It's pretty low quality. It's the same across the board. And I have, like I've said in before in other videos, I have connections to buy this exact same bracelet. And if I wanna put GVJ behind it and now sell it for 150 bucks, just like these guys do, if I buy enough of these in bulk, I will make $90 off each one if I sell it for $110. That's the reality. This is, this is what this is right here. It's resold garbage from either Italy or China, and this is what this is here. My overall score on it, out of 10, it's a two, only because I could still see a little kid wearing this on a music video, or an up and coming rapper, or maybe you have a special night and you wanna put something under that kind of flexes, but not really. I'll give it a two out of 10, but the reality is it's not even worth a two. It's probably worthless. Sorry to be so real. I can't keep trying to be politically correct about these things. You're asking me to give you my honest review. I'm giving you my honest review. It's not good stuff. Even if you want really good stuff, even if you want, you don't wanna spend $10,000 on a solid gold one with real diamonds or even lab diamonds, get yourself something that's at least a precious metal and that is at least hand set. Get yourself a jeweler who actually sits down and does one by one. For instance, if you want me to do this piece for you in silver with moissanite, I could do it for you and it'd be completely different quality. It's night and day. And that's not just to say I'm better than the other person. It's just the reality of what goes on. I could sit someone here right next to me who has no idea about anything Anything to do with jewelry and I can give them our both pieces and you will notice the difference between a product that's actually good and something that's just mass produced to make a profit. I hope this review helped. Goo shop, two out of 10, don't waste your money. Go out there, save a little bit extra and buy yourself a smaller piece or something that's hand set by an actual jeweler either here in the United States or someone that's just doing each piece individually and actually gives a shit about it. Till next time, subscribe to the channel. We got a bunch of other companies that we're doing reviews on. If you have any other companies that actually put some effort into their piece, I will spend the money to buy one of their pieces to give you an honest opinion about it. But let it be something good, not one of these Instagram resellers. See you guys next time. Love ya.